Bienvenidos a Autos 060 con Roman Mitchell. <laughs> ¿Cómo está, my friend? <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> we are here in uh, Indiana, and we're just uh, crossing between Kentucky and Indiana. Yeah, and we're driving the new Acura TLX. So this is a mid-cycle refresh. Which uh, nowadays, every car company is making them like faster and with more substantial changes. One, because technology allows them to do that. But two, and maybe one, a more important one, It's like competition, it's like catching right. up with like everything. So anybody, nobody can wait three, four, five years to put up with something new. They have to come with something new every two, two or three years now. And this competes in a very crowded market, right? The BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, uh, the Infiniti. Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Yes, yeah, the Lexus. The Lexus IS, yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot of cars that compete in this kind of Good cars. Good cars, entry level. And uh, interestingly, all those cars now come with a two liter turbo, except for this one. I know. This one comes with a four cylinder, two liter also, but this one, which is the main model, I guess, is a V6 3.5. And they have two variants of this, the, what is it, the Advance? Yep, and the A-Spec. A-Spec. But the difference here is that uh, the A-Spec, it's only a cosmetic uh, improvement. If yeah, you call yeah it. so we're in the Advance, it's got square tailpipes, the A-Spec has round tailpipes, you know. Uh, I would think you'd want a little bit more horsepower when you've got the more performance-oriented model, but they've chosen to keep it more of an appearance package and yeah. less of a performance package. And that's a, that's a, one of the main differences uh, with between this car and the other ones that we just mentioned, because BMW has the M division, Mercedes-Benz AMG. Yep. Uh, the Q50 has the S model too, also that with up to 400 horsepower. So there's a lot <laughs> of, of competition with more horsepower. But I guess, I mean, I always try to, to give uh, justice to a car for what it is, not for what it's not. That's I mean, like, it's like when you're like, I used to play soccer a lot. Yep. And like, when we were at the fields, starting the game, and saying, where is like, Roman, who is the best player in the team? Well, he's not here, guys. We're gonna have to play with the guys we have here. So let's concentrate on this and not we we not have here. Happy Roman, thank God he's not here. <laughs> But yeah, you're right. I mean, let, let's review it for what it is, not for what it isn't. It isn't an M3, it isn't an yeah. S4. It's a 300 horsepower. Uh, 290, 290. Yeah, 290. Um, 267 pound foot of torque. Acura, which is actually uh, very sporty in the way that it handles. You've got four drive modes. Yeah, drive. it has a Echo, Normal, Sport, and Sport Plus. And you, I mean, they're like, obviously, this changes the, the throttle input, the, the steering, the suspension. The A-Spec is like tuning differently in the suspension and, and, and a few different things, but it does not increase the horsepower. Yeah, and um, they have given it kind of that family grill now, so it's got that, uh, less of a beak and more of kind of a chiseled nose. Oh, they call it a diamond pentagon grill? Yeah, diamond pentagon grill. There's a lot going on and that's also becoming very standard in the auto business. It's got a huge Acura yeah. a badge right on the front of it. A huge improvement from a recent model, like, well, not recent, maybe five, ten years ago that were like tall bald and like straight lines and like really look like. Well, and, uh, but this one, I think it's a much better um, application of that, of that design. What I really like about this car is there's a sense of solidity to it, right? It feels oh, like completely, it's built out yeah. of one piece of metal as opposed to a bunch of different parts. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that that's like come from the Honda family. I mean, like all the, the quality, the attention to detail, the, the, the materials everywhere you touch is pretty nice materials. This is the advanced, but in the A-Spec, the steering wheel is actually thicker. So you can see a, dip, a few differences. It has a, a little logo here in the, in the bottom of, of it. So. And I think, uh, I mean, whatever strategy uh, uh, Acura has done with this thing in terms of like not giving more high, high performance, maybe they're going to come up with something different. Like maybe they put the hybrid system from the NSX as, as they did with the MDX and they can improve a little bit in horsepower, which they did with the MDX. That would happen at the redesign, not at a refresh, right? Because then you're really messing with it. Basically, underneath, this is an accord. Exactly. I mean, and much much better and the other strategy maybe is that uh, I mean this model when you compare it to exact performance level to the other brands the, the BMW the Mercedes-Benz the Audis and the Lexus I mean when they when you compare it like at the same level in performance this is a better value because it's like much cheaper it starts at around 33 goes up to 46 and the other ones start like a little bit higher in every case Yeah, so at this level again, like right, let's have getting, to remember that. You're getting a lot of value for your money. 
um, and maybe in the next generation they'll actually have a performance variant that's beyond just a cosmetic maybe they'll actually have and it's funny you know my first car that I bought that actually had any serious horsepower when I started making some money was a Nissan 300 ZX twin turbo yeah. and that had 300 horsepower there you go and it also had all-wheel steering this of course has super handling all-wheel drive but but I thought to myself when I got that car this is too much power I can't handle it I know. and here we are kind of you know complaining it doesn't have 400 horsepower and now which is the one that you want I the Grand Cherokee yeah, Trailhawk. Yeah, with the 707 horsepower. I know, so a little bit twice as, a little bit more than twice than this car. So, I mean, there you go. I mean, but the people want more, always want more. Always want more. The point is, you know, one upon a time, 300 horsepower, in this case 290, of course, was plenty. And now I'm like, eh, it'd be nice to have 400. Exactly. So, in this case, we only get 294 now. Who knows what they're going to do in the near future. Maybe you're right, like when, when it like the next generation they, they I'm sure they're gonna improve it because again competition keeps moving and they don't want to stay behind which they did for like 10 years Acura before the NSX it was like flat I yeah, mean it was lost like in the woods for sure yeah I mean it was like on that like vital you know so they returned the original theme was precision uh, what is it uh, precision crafted performance that yeah. was what they started out with they've returned back to that to try to go back to their roots and they're trying to build cars that are sporty and engaging and fast and fun and I think uh, with the uh, NSX they certainly accomplished that and now this is kind of the next step in that brand re yeah. make you know and uh, you have to always uh, give credit for the people behind that because Johnny Keda who is the head of Acura here in the US started with the company when Acura started in the US with that kind of philosophy and he actually has said several times in the past uh, couple of years when he started to introduce the new models that that's exactly what he wants to do to go back to what they were doing more, more than 20 years ago so the things let's start with the things I'm not like thrilled about in this car uh, I'm not a big fan of the push-button transmission you get it's a little bit confusing yeah. yeah you get used to it after a while but once again, you're re-engineering something that probably didn't need to be re-engineered. And the reason they're doing this is because now with electronic transmissions, you can save up a lot of space so you don't yeah. have to have that bulky lever. And you're going to have more space for, for example, I put bottles here, like in the middle. Yeah, exactly. You're put it right there. But, but, yeah, it's a little bit confusing. And once, I guess, you have it for a month, it's going to be natural to you. But if you change cars like every week, like we do, you always go somewhere else. Yeah, it was like, where do I put yeah. my car in gear? The other thing I'm not super excited about is the hood they've kind of redone the hood and they've made it kind of convex on the outside yeah I think that comes from the lines from the NSX actually I think it's kind of like that like when it goes up with the fenders and it goes down again maybe that's a little bit of the design thinking behind that yeah uh, it doesn't work for me actually it, it reminds me a little bit of uh, well I should say it but uh, uh, you know when somebody's a little too hippie <laughs> and I'm not talking about like <laughs> hippie in the hip. Yeah, in the hip. No not, hippie from the sixties. Yeah, you know, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that part works. But those are my like, two biggest complaints. Otherwise, I'll, I think the car drives yeah. really well. One thing that I don't yeah. like uh, in in a lot of the current Honda products is like the two screen thing. Yeah. What in these? What I have to say that now that they have Apple Car Apple CarPlay and CarPlay Google. And Google Android Auto. Android Auto. It actually works because when you hook up your phone, the top screen displays the that oh, whatever content right. that you have from your phone, and this one you can still use for the other functions of the phone, like the of the car, from like navigation, radio, and all that. So in that sense, it works. I will think that, like for example, Volvo is doing with the XC90 and the B90, that like a big bigger screen that, that, that you can maybe have half and half use for it maybe it will be a more modern uh, look for it yeah the, the issue is obviously if you hook your phone and there's one screen you all of a sudden can't control your, the other one, your yeah. heat and your cooling right that's no good yeah but in this case I think it works still I mean this is from the previous generation I'm sure they're gonna come up with something different for the next one yeah they said they've improved the speed on it so it's a lot faster and uh, it feels a lot faster you know it, it, it responds immediately I hate when there's that lag time and you're like go 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 and it doesn't do anything yeah. So, well, we're gonna go, go, go back to the hotel now. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the nine speed? I mean, it's it's good. I mean, yeah. the, the shifting here with the, the paddles is fast. Yeah. You can you can see, and, and again, like 290, it, it was a, it, it was a lot like 20 years ago when you bought your first car, or maybe longer, I don't know. But now, 
we want <laughs> we Back want more and more. <laughs> so I mean, it's, for what it is, I think it's, it's 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 not a sports car. It's a luxury mid-size car that has some sportiness in it. Yeah, yeah, and I do like the fact that the super handling all-wheel drive is there. Uh, does it work? Yeah, it works. Just it works when you turn yeah. and you you can actually feel it, feel it, feel it pushing. Yeah, push a little throw in it and instead of braking, and the car actually because the back wheels turn a little bit with the direction of the. You've got this big transverse mounted six cylinder in the front, right? Exactly. And that's a lot of weight, and usually when you take a car around a corner with that much weight over the front wheels, it tends to push. And, and this car mitigates that with the super handling all wheel drive. So I'm, I'm happy they've done that. But in general, uh, I, I think, you know, as a, a car that competes in a very competitive segment, they've done a good job with it. Exactly. And with that pricing, I think they're going to. They're going to sell them. They're going to keep uh, happy the Acura fans and maybe gain some other, some other brands, right? Yep. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is Roman. Javier Mota. Saying, see you guys next time. And uh, Javier, let's go back to the hotel. Time yeah, to, let's uh, go. Yeah, we work enough today. Time to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to go edit video. I wish oh, was, okay. I wish there was an autonomous program to let you do that. Like, oh, yeah. automatically edit the video. Well, get to work on it. You'll be a millionaire. <laughs>